I'm James Morton and I've just finished recording my Building the Minor Blues Series 3. In this series we are going into harmonic minor territory and exploring how this, uh, how this scale sounds and how it works um, and hopefully getting rid of some of the mystery behind the scary word of harmonic minor scale. I've done this series in a really fun and interactive way. Um, so that we're learning these new harmonic minor scales and playing them in context with the backing track and with the chords that are going on in a way where, where you can really see and feel and hear um, how these things work, how these scales and arpeggios work um, with the music. This series is a continuation of building the minor blues series one and two. And uh, with this series, it's going to give you more colours, more things to play with, more things to work with and take you to that next level of things. The harmonic minor is a really cool scale to use. It's got that Latin, Middle Eastern kind of quality to it. Um, and it's another colour we can use in our toolbox. The backing track in this Building the Minor Blue Series 3 is the same backing track that we used in Series 1 and 2. Again, we're continuing on a theme and building and building and building the blues, the minor blues, um, in a way where we're additive, we're adding new stuff, new stuff that we can do. So we use the same backing track, which is a great backing track, really fun to play with. Um, and I use this backing track interactively in the lessons as well. My approach in this series is to teach um, and give you an understanding of the harmonic minor scale without getting bogged down in too much theory. So I've tried to do it in a way where it's, um, it's kind of painless theory learning if you like and it's all fun and it's all relevant and we're still improvising, we're still being creative but we're learning new stuff as well. This series three, we start to get a little bit more advanced with things, so um, I would recommend series one and two um, for beginners um, on this minor blues, um, and to work your way up and build your way up towards this series three, because there's some slightly more advanced stuff going on with this one. When using this scale um, over this chord sequence, you really got to be playing the right scale over the right chord at the right time. It's kind of less generic than the minor pentatonics and the blues scale. Um, we are now playing the chord changes with, with these things, so we, we really need to know where we are in the form uh, and what's going on because we're starting to get a little, little further down on the line of playing the chord changes now. Hopefully, in the way that we've put this series together, we've made it as easy as possible uh, and enjoyable as possible for you to start implementing these new scales over the chord changes. If you want to start getting your head round and conquering the harmonic minor and how to use it over minor chords, this is the right series for you. So check it out, it's really fun, it's interactive, it's creative, and also gonna, you're gonna demystify what the harmonic minor is, and uh, you're gonna have another color in your paint pot and another tool in your toolbox. I had a lot of fun recording this series, and, um, and, and I think there's some really good stuff in there for everyone, so go and check it out. I'm James Morton, this is promusictutor.com. 
If you want to learn how to play like the pros, then learn from the pros.